Hello everyone, Kirith here, and I want to give you some of my tuning secrets for Gran Turismo 7. In fact, my main tuning fundamentals when I find a car that I just really struggle to drive. Now, I race Tot Split Gran Turismo 7 online, but I'm telling you, some of these cars in Gran Turismo 7 are really, really, really hard to drive on stock setups. So for this video, we've got the Camaro ZL1, and we're going to use the last corner at Deep Forest and the run to the straight to show you how you can change this car so much for tuning. So we're coming into the hairpin, and let me know at home if you're going to get the same feeling of frustration right about now. Because we've all been there, right? You, you come out of a hairpin, you put the power down, and you spin the car. It's... We've all been there. I feel your pain. I've been there as well many, many times, including in those top split daily races. Now, as we come down the straight, you're going to see just how difficult this car is to control, and I wouldn't really be able to do a race in this car in this setup around the track. You can see here, I'm trying not to have an aggressive steering input because that will oversee the car and then I hit the wall and then we have this massive kind of side side. Look at my steering inputs and my throttle control as well. Really, 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 really hard car to drive. And we're going to have it now in third person, which is going to make it even more clear. So again, if you drive on these cars on stock setups, this is how they are to drive. I know how to drive in Gran Turismo 7 and I would struggle massively, massively, massively with this car in a race. So. If you're watching and you're struggling in Gran Turismo 7, don't worry, because it might be the car and it might not be your driving. So we'll have a look again as we go down the straight and then we'll talk about how I'm going to tune this car to make it so much easier to drive. So coming on to three, I don't want to do too much steering input because I know I'll lose the back end. So I'm gentle, gentle, gentle. We're going to clip the wall and then we're going to have the side side. Look at my throttle inputs. You see I'm, you know, uh, two thirds throttle, um, not full throttle there, trying to keep the car on a straight and narrow. And, you know, really, 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 really difficult to drive. So, here's the secret sauce. Here's what you came for. I'm going to show you a couple of settings that is going to make this car a dream to drive. So, we're going to have fully customized suspension. We're going to have the fully customizable diff. And we're going to add some ballast. Now, some of these things are more important than others. Now, ballast... This is something I've found because in some categories, I've had to add ballast. And I've had to think about where to put it. In any FR or MR car, put your ballast all the way to the front. That's going to stop the front end of the car being so light, and it's going to remove the likelihood for the back end to come around. Now, I'm making the uh, ride height as low as possible, and I'm going to stiffen the front anti-roll bar. And this is a key one. I'm going to lower the initial torque level on the diff. Lower the initial torque level on the diff. So there we go. We added ballast to the front. We lowered the ride height. Stiffened the front anti-roll bar and crucially lowered the diff on the front and we're going to go TC1. Now have a look here. This is absolutely night and day. I dropped the throttle. Absolutely night and day. Now we're going to go onto the straight. You can see here TC kicks in just a little bit. TC kicks in just a little bit there. Do make sure to subscribe by the way as this video has helped, has helped you out. Lots more tips and tricks videos on this channel for Gran Turismo 7. And he's down the straight much, much, much easier. This car is now a car that I can use on a track, in a race, and it's going to be competitive. So we'll have a look in third person, because I really do drop the throttle here. And the combination of those factors means that we just lay down the power nicely, look. Laying down that power really, 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 really nicely. No issues on the straight. You can see that the TC is kicking here just a little bit. It might kick in here as well. Just a little bit. Let's see. No, that's me. That's all, all natural, TC. And I hope, by the way, those settings aren't too overwhelming. It's, it's not a huge amount of settings. I'm going to talk about a couple more. We're going to have a look at a side-by-side, -side, and I'm going to talk about a couple more settings that can really, really, really make a huge difference. So let's have a look now. We're going to go into the settings menu and talk through this. So... The key thing for me really is the initial torque on the diff. So if you're struggling coming out of corners, you don't want that rear axle locked. You don't want a lot of power coming through the outside wheel that's just going to turn the car around. So we lowered that level and the car was much more manageable. Lowering the right hider is a standard thing to do to make your car more racy. And we stiffened the anti-roll bar to again add some more performance to the front of the car. And we've got the ballast on the front as well. Now the other thing I would do if I had a front splitter is I would add more downforce to the front. We want to make the front of the car more sticky. And we don't want the rear to dictate things in a very powerful FR car like this. So side by side, you can see that I put down the throttle, you know, just as quickly. 
um, in the car on the left, but, you know, the TC does a massive job there. And by the way, for anyone who's watching and saying, oh, you shouldn't use TC in Gran Turismo, I never use TC in Gran Turismo Sport. Gran Turismo 7 is a completely different game. And if you disagree with TC being viable, then come and race me in top split one day. Because it's made a huge difference to Tesla Business Car. So, I really hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. Let me know if you've got any alternate setups. And we can talk about it. The best place to talk about them is the Discord, really. There is a, a dedicated tuning area, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. But I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time.